Hello, I'm Dr. Rishma Dhillan Pai, consultant gynecologist at Leelavati Jaslok Hinduja Healthcare Hospitals, Mumbai. I'm going to be talking to you today on advanced infertility management. We know that almost 10% of couples who are trying to conceive are not able to do so. Many of them have very simple problems which can be overcome with basic advice and treatment. So when a couple comes to us saying that they are not able to have a baby even after one year of trying, we will do a few simple investigations. For the husband, we will do a semen analysis. For the lady, we will do a few tests, hormones, sonography and something to test the tubes. You can do an x-ray of the uterus or a laparoscopy and a hysteroscopy which gives us a good picture of the entire womb, the fallopian tubes if they are open or closed and gives us some idea whether the eggs are coming out normally from the ovary or not. With this information, most of us start with basic treatment, simple tablets, simple injections to make the eggs grow. We see how they are growing by sonography and many times with natural treatments, patients may become pregnant. Some patients who do not conceive with this basic medication may require the first step of advanced treatment that is intrauterine insemination. In this, we take the husband's semen, wash it, pick up the best quality sperms and with a very small tube insert it into the lady's womb and push it inside at the time when the egg is coming out. So IUI is a very simple technique, it's not very expensive and it gives good results. But for this, the husband's semen report must be almost normal and the lady's uterus, tubes, everything must be normal. So this is step one of treatment. If despite trying intrauterine insemination for a few times, the patient does not become pregnant, then we have to go on to advanced infertility treatment starting with IVF or in vitro fertilization or test tube baby as it is called. Test tube baby is basically meant for ladies who have tubes blocked. That means the fallopian tubes are not functioning or have closed off due to some infection or disease. Today, however, IVF is used for many, many reasons. Even if there's no obvious problem, but the couple is not able to conceive, we do IVF on them. So for in vitro fertilization, what we have to do really is give the lady injections for approximately 10 days. What this does is produce a large number of eggs. When there are many eggs, we admit the patient for half a day, give her anesthesia for 10 minutes and actually through a sonography machine, remove the eggs using a needle. This is a painless procedure and like I said, a 10 minute procedure. <coughs> Once the eggs are in our hand, we take the husband's semen which we have prepared and each one sperm is picked up and injected or placed beside the egg and the fertilization is done. If the husband's sperm count is very less or is very low or almost nil for example or minimum then we can do a similar procedure but here we perform ICSI intracytoplasmic sperm injection which means each sperm of the husband is picked up with a very very fine needle and physically injected into the egg so that it's not left to fertilize on its own but the sperm is injected into the egg. This procedure ICSI is uh, performed in the laboratory. After about two days, you can actually see that the egg has fertilized and is now growing. So one egg has developed into two, four, eight, twelve parts. So it's actually a growing baby. And this baby, which is just two or three days old, is taken and with a very fine tube, which is a very painless half a minute procedure, it is actually put back inside the womb of the patient. This is embryo transfer. So this procedure which takes approximately 15 days from the beginning of the menstrual period till the procedure is over is called IVF or ICSI depending on what is done uh, in that particular patient. This test tube baby procedure has very good results. So patients who would otherwise never be able to become pregnant because of blocked tubes, because of very low sperm count or because the egg is not coming out or many other problems such as endometriosis or adenomyosis, all these patients, hormonal problem patients, patients who have polycystic ovarian syndrome, many of these patients will benefit from this technique of IVF or ICSI. 
However, infertility treatment has advanced a lot today. Even men who have zero sperm count, absolutely no sperms when they do a semen analysis. In these patients also, in many, many cases, we can do very, very tiny biopsies from the testes called PISA or TISA, very tiny needle biopsies and from the testes we can actually take out sperms. Even if we get just three or four or five sperms, we can use this technique of ICSI or an even more advanced technique called MC uh, to actually fertilize the eggs and help make the lady pregnant. In India, for the first time in our centers in uh, Mumbai, in Delhi, in Chandigarh, we have centers in Bangalore. In all these centers, for the first time, we have brought this technique called MC for male factor infertility. We have also got laser hatching. We have got a fantastic new device called embryoscope. This actually is very useful for couples who have had previous failures, IVF they have done before, have not become pregnant. This is an improved technology where the eggs and the embryos are kept in this special incubator and it is a non-touch technique. So basically more and more advancements, more and more techniques are coming in to help couples who thought they would never be able to become pregnant to help them become pregnant. Not only this, there are couples who have recurrent miscarriages. They become pregnant but then they have an abortion again and again. <clears throat> These couples too, this technique comes in useful because we now have what we call PGD, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, which means that if a couple is having repeated miscarriages or they're having a baby with some abnormality or some genetic defect, we can actually take a biopsy of this small, tiny two or three day embryo. We can take a tiny biopsy, we can analyze it and we can tell the patient that this embryo, which is only two or three days old, is normal or abnormal. And we can pick up a healthy, good embryo and put it back inside the womb, ensuring uh, less chance of miscarriage and a better, healthy baby free of genetic problems. So there's a lot of techniques and technologies available. We are almost on par with the rest of the world. Our results are excellent and we can definitely offer patients today such good treatments for infertility that we can almost say that no couple will remain infertile. There is also surrogacy as an option. There is possibility of egg donation, embryo donation. So depending upon the unique problem which the patient presents with, we can offer them some solution. You can contact me at any time through Labrate and I will be available to help solve all your problems. Thank you.